in today's episode, I would like to introduce a photo book called JAL 7688, photo by Greg Gerard. This book is about photos taken in the year of 1976 through 88 in Tokyo during the pre-bubble era. First of all, if you're deeply into photography, you probably heard of his name before. If not, I would like to briefly introduce who he is. Greg's well known for his photos of social and physical transformation in Asian countries. His personal photo projects are well known and they're taken with Mummy S7, medium format camera with a slight film using long exposures. His photographs are not dynamic in action but has subtle dramatic mood to it. I personally like his night photography. He uses long exposures to lit up his photos by using available ambient lights. Greg was born in 1955 in Canada. He was influenced by such photographers like Lee Freelander, Gary Winogrand, and Robert Frank's photos while looking at the camera reviews in the consumer photo magazines. He started his photography when he was 16 years old with a color film. In the 70s, he saw a photo of Hong Kong port scene in the uh, Time or Life magazine and it sparked an interest in traveling to Hong Kong. And later, when he was 18 years old, he took a freighter from San Francisco to Hong Kong for 18 days and spent about a month in Hong Kong to take photos. In his early 20s, he visits Japan, uh, Tokyo. But during the late 70s, Japan was already known for an expensive country to travel to, so he plans for a one night trip. During his stay at a hostel, he meets an English teacher who is just about to quit his job. Greg somehow ended up getting his job as an English teacher and makes a living in Tokyo. Later, he travels to Hong Kong again and gets a job as a sound recorder for BBC. He then learns how to take photos that earns his job as a photographer while working as a sound recorder. Four years later, he travels to Sri Lanka to take photos of Sri Lanka Civil War. This was his turning point as a photographer and earns jobs from National Geographic, Fortune, The New York Times magazines, and etc. He has lived in Tokyo, Hong Kong, and Shanghai for 30 years in total, and now he is back in Canada, Vancouver. If you're interested in his photographs, I recommend his photo books, Instagram, and his interviews. I wrote down the necessary information in the detail.
Thanks for watching. Goodbye.